argue with nobody on how they feel, bro. And most people, when they talking, bro, they talking out of, because that's just how they feel, bro, out of feelings. Like, it's all feelings, bro. Motherfucker be hurt. Motherfucker be mad. All type of stuff, bro. So I don't argue with nobody, bro. I let them talk. I talk. Get off the phone. We come to agreement. We do it. We don't. Cool. Come to an understanding. It's even better. But as far as arguing, that's. I just can't do no arguing with nobody, bro. No man, no woman. Not even a kid, bro. I don't do no arguing. Yeah, it sounds crazy to argue with somebody, bro. I'm not gonna argue with nobody telling me how they feel. I ain't gonna let nobody try to argue with me on how I feel. I'll just, I just be quiet, bro. Like, if I tell somebody how I feel, they cut me off and they do all that type of stuff, I'll be quiet the whole time, bro. And then just let them talk, because obviously they just need to vent. It's not even about what I got to say at that point. That means they're not even listening. They just waiting on, you know what I'm saying, waiting to respond. And what, that's just cool, too, like, because some people just need to vent. It just happened to be I'm the one on the phone with them at the time, <clears throat> what they doing. And I just happened to get fucking caught up in it. So I just be quiet. I be quiet, let them speak, let them get it off their chest. And I just won't say anything. Then they be like, why you not talking? Because when you speak. And then, you know, eventually they'll just be quiet, bro. Then I get to talking again. Now, if I get to talking again after letting them speak, and um, they, they cut me off again, I'll just hang up. I won't answer the phone if they call me, but you okay. Yeah, that's disrespectful. Like, you can only disrespect me once. So, after that, I just get off the phone. And, you know, let it sit up, let it marinate for a couple of weeks, a couple of months, however, need it. however, if I don't get tape for somebody to reach out and apologize, bro. Because I don't, I don't say, I don't cuss no woman out. I don't call nobody their name. I don't call nobody stupid because I know people moving off emotion. People just speaking on how they feel and all that type of stuff. I just, man, I just sit back and listen, bro. Observe. Like, I grew up with women, bro. So you the oldest of your, you know what I'm saying? You your, you your dad's first kid. So you just been having, a, you been having to learn a lot of stuff on the fly. You don't got a lot of older cousins, you know what I'm saying? You don't got no big sister, you know, you ain't got no big sister. You just don't have all that, bro. So, like, I grew up in a house with two big sisters and I got four aunties. So, like, I understand the women and how they speak and all that type of stuff. I get it, bro. I just, I just get it. I understand, bro. Even if I don't like, even if it don't make sense, even what they saying don't make sense to me, bro. I understand where it's coming from. That's called being transparent. Okay, not to have nothing to say back. Like people not looking to be corrected all the time either. Bro, right? That's annoying. So sometimes it's best to just listen, bro. How many times I talk to people, bro, and like in the back of my head, I'm like, wow, wow, that's really how they think. That's how they feel. I probably never talk to him again, but I still sit on the phone if you don't let him get it off their chest. Let, it, let him get it off their chest. I don't have to talk to nobody, bro. I'm not obligated to talk to anybody. So, let's go. All right, listen. Right. That don't mean I'm going to ever talk to you again. I'm going to get Spill their heart out to me, bro, about something, bro. And I'll never speak to him again, bro. But at least they got it off their chest, you know. I'm going to be looking for COVID sometimes. That's what it is, man. Life goes on. Everybody's an experience. Everybody is an experience, bro.
it's called the invisible leash. Um, I know a lot of y'all don't understand what that even means, but it's just complete trust. No, I'm, I'm, I'm doing a video right now, young guy. Um, complete trust in the dog. Complete trust in me. Connected. I do this every single day. Okay, first off, I didn't start out doing this without a leash, okay? So understand that it's not no just, you bring your dog outside and he just gonna follow you or she just gonna follow you. No, it don't work like that. Time, 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 time. Patience, patience, patience. I love my girl though. This is Bossy Stack's daughter. Look him up. Bossy Stacks. Oh, my bad, sorry. Oh, I just got it. This is Bossy Honey Grain. <laughs> There's so many things, so many beautiful bossy chocolate males, and they all, you know, from they all from Good Bar and all that type of stuff. You know, he's the son of Good Bar, so it's like they all, they all look amazing. They all thick bulls, but this is Bossy Honey Granddaughter, direct daughter from Bossy Honey Grand. direct daughter from Bossy. Understand what's going on, Katana? Checking it out. Okay, go ahead, girl. Catch you guys. Catch you guys on the next video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If you got any um, tips? I'm open to all tips. Like I say, I'm I'm never I'm never done learning. If you got uh, any um, questions, please, please, please leave in the comment section or hit me up at two zero six four nine nine zero four two two. I do have puppies available right now. Make sure you hit me up at two zero six four nine nine zero four two two. You guys, did you see how she looked at me? before she went down there and I gave her the okay with my eyes. Like, you know what I'm saying? You gotta understand what's going on, man. All, everything matters. How you look, how you act, your voice tone, your hand gestures in the eyes. That's why dogs always look at you in your eyes. They always look at you in your eyes. So yeah, just hanging out with Katana, doing our one-on-one. -on -one. And um, after I put her up, I'll let another one out and we'll do the same thing. Um, everything ain't for video. I don't put every, absolutely everything on camera. Because I understand that a lot of this that's going on at my camp is still learning process. Um, I show you guys what I want to show you, and I do show you guys a lot. But um, most of those videos are just walking the dog on the leash. It doesn't get a lot of attention. It's kind of boring. Y'all don't really watch them, so I kind of do my training without holding the camera. That way, I can really focus and I can use both of my hands. Catch you guys on another video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. It's your boy EJ with NBF Kennel. NBF everything. Katana, you enjoying yourself? You cooling off down there? You just taking stuff out the water, huh, girl? Whatever you find in the water, you taking it out. Oh, my God. Yucky. Yucky, yucky, yucky. See, dogs do a lot of stuff that we wouldn't do. So whenever y'all see a dog doing something that you wouldn't do, understand that that is not a human being. She is not a human being. So if you see her do something really disgusting to you, it's only disgusting to you because you're a human being. All right, understand that. You got to separate the two. These are not people.